Good morning, guys and gals. Froggy here. This is uh, my dash cam that I've got on my Corvette. And I've used double stick tape. Many different varieties. This most recent one that I used is uh, 3M. It looks says Series 4-1000 VHB, which I think is very heavy bond. And here's another one that I've used. It doesn't have a name on it. Anyway, the camera won't stay up there. And this stuff is supposed to be rated for, I don't know, 10, 15 pounds or so. And this weighs not even a quarter of a pound. What I think is happening is two things. Number one is, and I leave it set for 20, plenty of time, like two days before I, I put any stress on it. I think... It's failing because I used, I built up two layers on here. The reason I built up two layers is because there's a little recess there. You can see there's a lip here and a recess. So I wanted the tape to be in full contact with that part underneath and then the glasses on this side. So because I built it up, sheer is what happens when you try to pull the tape sideways. So it's got, I think it's got good bonding when you pull away like that. When you pull sideways, I think that's what makes it fail. And I also had this little bungee on there to keep this part of the attachment, to keep this camera from sliding out of this attachment when I went over like a bumpy road or on an autocross or something. So I did have some sideways pull on the tape, okay? I admit that. What I'm going to try this time, two things. I'm going to use a different type of uh, extremely strong tape. Scotch. I think Scotch and 3M are like the same company now. But anyway, this one has the little beads that make the connection. But more importantly, um, it's not thick. So if there is any sideways shear to it, um, I don't think that'll be a problem because I'm not building up any thicknesses. The other thing is I'm going to attach this part of the mount to the camera without using the bun bungee cord. I'm going to lose the bungee cord. Okay, so here we go. It's interesting. I think that this stuff just peels off. I thought I was going to have a real heck of a time getting it to unstick from the plastic, but... No problem, so I'm not sure this is a terrific um, adhesive to use when you're dealing with plastic. Maybe wood or, you know, other things. Just that's a side note. So, it says suitable for most surfaces, blah, blah, blah. It does say plastics. Where is it? Acrylic and hard plastics right there where my finger is. So you just peel off the little protective strips on each side. It says stick the two parts together. I'm going to have to cut it to the right size. Don't worry about that. Um, press and hold for 30 seconds. And then take the other part, press and hold for 30 seconds. And that's it. It doesn't really say any curing time that I have been able to find so far. Now this says it holds six pounds for this amount. And this is like one-tenth of a pound or not, certainly less than a quarter of a pound. Uh, I would use some alcohol to clean these surfaces and clean the window before you stick it up there. Okay, so here's what it looks like when you take it out. And it's actually the same on both sides. These are little micro tiny balls on a stock that interlock with each other like that. I'm actually going to cut this one in half, which will give me about a one inch square, maybe a little more, more like a rectangle, like an inch by an inch and a quarter or so. And uh, just use that as a test. It should be enough to work. And that way I'm not wasting up all this stuff, I'm, I could use it for other things. 
So let's cut a little piece that'll fit in there. So I took a felt tip pen and marked it like that so I can cut it to shape. Okay, so this is uh, aluminum tape, very sticky, uh, very strong, and I've used this for various applications. You can look at some of my other videos. So I took a small strip of that and I put that from here, wrapped it around to here so that this will no longer slide and detach itself so I don't need the bungee anymore. And I just put the other piece on there. Now I just have to pull this strip off stick it up where I want it on the glass and uh, cross my fingers. I'm going to wipe the glass with alcohol and then uh, we'll give it a go. So what I found when I went to clean the glass on the windshield was the other piece of that double stick tape that I had put together like a sandwich to um, to mount it previously. So Conclusion is this stuff does not repeat. It does not stick to itself very well because that's where it, it came apart apparently. And I did a lot of research and I never really ever saw any warning that says don't try sticking the tape to itself or doubling up the thickness of the tape or anything. So uh, there you go, trial and error, I guess. Anyway, so I got that off. And I cleaned with the alcohol, and I'm going to stick this up there. Now, it may be that had I used a single piece against the plastic and against the glass, that it would have worked better. I don't know, but I'm going with this right now. And so there it is. Excuse the glare. I shut the door, but there's still some glare coming through. Right up there, I like the form factor of this camera because it's small, it doesn't really get in the way of anything and I can tuck it up right behind the rear view mirror. So, you know, there, it's kind of what you barely can see when you're driving. Okay, give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. Click the bell if you want notifications. Be safe, have fun. Froggy out, bye bye. I will put some links down below uh, for the products. Thanks.